So for today, we're going to be looking at Dune Marchers. We're going to be doing the big overview of Dune Marchers. If you guys don't know what I'm doing, essentially in the Stompies video, which I posted yesterday, I'll have it in the description below if you guys haven't seen it. We go over the Stompies, we go over the ornaments it has, we go over the fact that if it shaders well, if it has non-shaderable pieces, uh, we also make our own armor sets with the, with the ornaments and the uh, non-ornament look. And I give you like my thoughts and my tips and whatnot of how I basically make my armor set around that certain exotic or ornament. So we're going to be doing the same thing with Dune Marchers. If you guys like the format, let me know because it's very tedious and I would love to know your thoughts on it. Uh, I personally love it just because of how informational it is. I really try to show you as much as I can because you really need to see some of these things. So let me know what you guys think and let's just get right into it. So before we look at the exotic itself, we're going to actually see what it actually does because uh, you might never know this might be a person's first video and they don't know what Dune Marchers does. So let's just get let's just get into it. So for the Dune Marchers, the exotic perk is linear actuators increase sprint speed. Sprinting builds up a static charge after melee attacking an enemy that charge will chain damage to nearby enemies. So not only does this increase your sprint speed, but it essentially what it does uh once you start running linear actuators will eventually proc once you have that proc when you punch anything you have a chain reaction lightning go hit like a lot of enemies it's really fun it used to be really busted uh but now thankfully bungie has reined it in and fixed the bug so that's what it does it's probably one of the more popular exotics mostly because it makes you fast and the linear actuators does come in clutch but yeah, that's what it does. So let's look at how Dune Marchers actually looks. So these are the Dune Marchers. I am not the biggest fan of the default look of the Dune Marchers just because of the asymmetry of it. If you guys have been following my content for a while, you guys will know that asymmetry is not like my biggest love ever. Like I hate is asymmetry. So when I see asymmetrical armor, it kind of really grinds my gears. Uh, as for unshaderable pieces, the chrome on the hip on the front and then the chrome on the back at the bottom of the armor piece do not change color and the chrome on on the bottom of the shin does not change color either other than that everything is fair game and will change color a weird a really weird note though uh the boots look really bad on the female titans specifically the feet i don't know what it is but it makes them look like they have a size fucking like bigger than Shaq's foot bro and actually I, sh I say Shaq's I meant Shaq like the basketball player the dude who has like big ass feet yeah I don't know what it is it looks gross and like lengthy you guys will see in the example set because the current example that you guys are looking at right now is for male titans uh but yeah as for the example set let's just get right into it actually uh this is the example set I was going for a racer type look and I do think it's pretty cool, although I think next time I'm gonna choose smaller armor sets because this looks way too bulky. It looks really good on the actual boots it's supposed to be on because this is an armor set I made for a video that I haven't done yet, maybe, which was the SRL themed armor set. The only reason I am I say yet is because I'm still deciding whether or not I wanna do it because the only pieces that really go like really look good are the titans and the hunters the warlocks unfortunately do not have srl looks but yeah that's why i'm th still thinking about it i might just do titan and hunter and just ignore the warlock um but yeah that's for another video for the look like i said i would probably use the guardian games armor set from last year for the chest piece just because that is a little bit smaller and it looks like a racer one and then for the arms and helmet, I would use smaller pieces as well. But this is what I came up with first. And again, I'm okay with it. It's definitely not my favorite because again, the boots looked way too small, which might change if you're on a male Titan, but it also might just make everything bulkier. So it might just look even weirder on a male. As for the pieces they're right here, uh, again, if you guys want to see the actual armor set that i made for this let me know in the comments below I'm, i would definitely make that video if i get an, enough people asking for it for the first ornament we're going to be looking at is the hip waiter it's definitely my favorite ornament but that doesn't say much considering the base look i don't like and then the 
other ornament I don't like either. So again, not saying much, but it is my favorite uh, because it does rein in the asymmetry a lot. Not completely, mind you, considering the right leg, you can still see the stripe, but it still reins it in enough because most of the time you don't see that stripe with certain shaders. Not only that, it does have a glow as well. So if you are interested, that's really cool. Uh, for the shader situation, you're definitely going to be looking at the chrome at the back of the leg that doesn't change color again on both of them. So the shin and the bottom of the uh, thigh, those don't change color. Other than that, everything changes color and just be aware that the glow is there. Um, as for recommendations for the what armor pieces you would wear with this, I didn't say this on the base or the default look because I just hate that, <laughs> hate that ornament or hate that look. But for this armor piece, I would probably recommend very rounded shaped armor, very smooth armor. Stay away from spiky armors, very, very edgy armor because it's not going to pair well with it in my opinion, even though my example set for this for this ornament, I completely ignore that advice again. So as for the example set, you guys will see here, uh, again, I pretty much use spiky bits, but I think I use it in a very tasteful way. It's not too much. It's not too little. I think it's just right. So for the pieces, you guys will see what I'm wearing right here. Be aware that this one, don't put too much thought into this. I didn't make this like, oh, this is perfect, perfect for this exotic. It is not. The only reason why I'm wearing this is because this is an exotic that I would usually wear as my secondary thing. So for example, uh, the Kaiden's ramparts are the exotics that I use. Like that's my exotic that I use all the time. PVE, PVP, doesn't matter. I'm using those. The dune marchers are my second exotics that i use so that's like my i want to go fast or i want to do this or i want to do that or i'm playing pvp and i want to use these exotics then i make my my fashion revolve around kaiden ramparts and then when i put on dune marchers i just kind of like put it in there i don't change the the look at all so this is that essentially a little lazy i don't think so because i still think it looks really really cool because uh the reason why I like to interchange both of them is because a I like both exotics, but both both of them have the same um, amount of thickness, I guess you would say both of them are really skinny. So that means I can use skinny armor for both of them. And I think this came out really good. The only thing I think is lacking is the shader. I think the shader is pretty terrible. But other than that, I think it looks really cool. So as for the last ornament we're gonna be looking at is the husk crushers so i am not the biggest fan of this it's pretty terrible in my opinion first and foremost whoever designed these why did you not put a husk for the feet um it just looks pretty terrible when you're like oh shit, this looks hive themed as fuck. and then when you get to the feet you're like why why would you just give them boots down there why didn't you like give them like a really cool night like spiky boot down there i don't know just feels lazy there uh as for how it shaders there is no piece that's unshaderable in this ornament so that's really good unfortunately i just don't like the ornament itself um i will tell you though if you guys are looking for specific armor pieces or armor sets to combine this with the dragonfly regalia armor set from eververse is really good and will look really good with it the other one is the descending echo armor set this is from the grasp of avarice dungeon so just do the dungeon however many times you need until you get all this armor set i think the descending echo armor set is going to be your best choice just because it is heavy heavy hive feels and i don't call it hive because it's not hive it's actually thorn inspired armor but i mean it looks looks the damn same in my opinion so it it's unfortunate that the titans got this exotic because i feel like the warlocks would have been better with this exotic considering they have a hive themed armor set and titans don't but again you can macgyver it you can macgyver it with the dragonfly set and the 
descending echo set as for the example armor so you guys can see that i ended up using the pieces that i actually recommended uh because this piece it's gonna look good with anything that looks organic has any like weird organic look to it for example that chest piece from the 30th anniversary has a really good organic look which is why i'm using it uh the mark on it i just used it because it has chains edgy that's really it but in the future if we get more hive themed stuff or anything please then this set's really gonna look good but honestly i think the boots really do need uh like a hot like a husk boot thing at the bottom because everything else looks cool and then the boots just look boring in my opinion and that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below this this one's a little bit shorter considering well, the base look of it is not like great in my opinion and then the one of the ornaments just looks exactly the same just with like what like a shader difference and glow and then the last one's like actually cool if it was a little bit better like i said i think the boots is like really the biggest thing that really bugged me about husk crushers is the fact that just everything looks cool and then just regular people boots really like we couldn't give them like a husk boot or anything and the fact that we don't have any hive themed armor sets in the game aside from warlocks uh i think that's a, a huge bummer like the fact that we have not gotten hive themed armor yet although if oryx does come back we do have that armor set coming back which actually would look really good because uh titan's helmets for that one was really good but yeah titans i'm sorry i just Dude, Dune Marchers compared to the other speed exotics that the Titan and or the Hunter and Warlock have, just pale in comparison. Because the Hunters, I think two of their actually, I think three of their looks is great. I think the Stompy's base look is beautiful. I think the the retreads are fucking good, and then the Astrocytes are really good. And then the Warlock, I think all of them are really good. Even though I think two, three of them are locked behind colors but we'll get to that when we get to that let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point and i'll see you all later that one was a good one not a lot of fuck ups in that one